In today's numeracy lesson, we are learning to complete short multiplication. Let's get started. So, what is short multiplication? Short multiplication is when you multiply a multi-digit number by a one-digit number. But today we are learning about the multiplication of a two-digit number like 23 by one-digit number like number 5. One important thing to mention is that multi-digit multiplication will be much, much easier if you know and have memorized your times tables. But if you haven't memorized them, you can use a multiplication table in front of you when you're doing your multiplication. Let's have a look at the first example, 23 times 3. Now, the first thing that we do is what we always do with addition and subtraction, we stack up the numbers. And as always, we stack them up in a way that the ones places are in one column and the tens places are in one column. When we finish, we draw a line right underneath to write our answers and we put a cross sign on the side to show that we're multiplying. Okay, now what we're going to do is to break up our bigger multiplication problem into smaller multiplication problems. Those small steps involve multiplying a digit on the bottom number by the digits on top number. Now as you can see we only have one digit at the bottom and we're going to multiply it by each of the digits on top number. And since our top number has only two digits that means our problem is going to have two small problems or steps. For the first step, we're going to multiply the bottom number by the ones place digit of the top number. And we always start from the ones places and make our way to the left to the tens. So 3 times 3 equals 9. For the second step, we multiply the bottom number by the tens place digit of the top number. So 3 times 2 equals 6. And our answer is 69. Let's have a look at another example, 35 times 7. Like we always do, we stack up the numbers first, so the 1's places are in one column and the 10's places are in one column. Then we draw the line at the bottom to write our answer and then we put the multiplication sign on the left to show that we're multiplying. So for the first step, we start with the bottom digit multiplied by the 1's digit of the number on top. So 7 times 5 equals 35. Now, just like what we do with addition, when we get a two-digit answer, we have to carry the first digit on the left to the top of the next column. Now, we move the 3 to the top of the tens place and then move to the second step, which we multiply the bottom number by the tens digits of the top number. 7 times 3 equals 21. But what's going to happen to the 3 that we have already carried? That's right, we're going to add that number 3 to 21 that we've already worked out. So 21 plus 3 equals 24. So our answer would be 245. We're going to have a look at another problem, 28 times 5. Now what we do, what we always do with addition or subtraction or multiplication, we stack the numbers up. For the first step, we start with the bottom digit multiplying by the ones digit of the number on top, 5 times 8. And if I don't know my answer, I can always use a multiplication table to find the answer. From the multiplication table, I worked out that 5 times 8 equals 40. Now, just like we do with addition, when we get a two digit answer, we have to carry the first digit on the left, which is number 4, to the top of the next column. For the second step, we multiply the bottom number by the tens digit of the top number. 5 times 2 equals 10, but then we have to add that number 4 that we have carried to the 10. 10 plus 4 equals 14, so our answer is 140. And one last example, 80 times 9. So we stack up the numbers, 1's places in one column and 10's places in one column. Then we draw the line at the bottom to show our answer and we put the multiplication sign on the left side to show that we're multiplying. 
For the first step, we start with the bottom digit multiplying by the ones digit of the number on top, 9 times 0. So we know that any number multiplying by 0 equals 0. 9 times 0 equals 0. For the second step, we multiply the bottom number by the tens digit of the top number, which is 8. 9 times 8. And if I don't remember on top of my head, I can always look at my multiplication table. So 9 times 8 is 72. The final answer is 720. Now, let's review how to complete a short multiplication. First, we stack the numbers up. Then we make sure the ones places are in one column and the tens places are in one column. Then break your bigger problem into smaller problems or smaller steps. Then start with multiplying the bottom number by a digit on top number, starting from the ones place. If you get a two digit number as a answer, you need to carry the first digit on the left to the top of the tens place column. Then, multiply the bottom number by the tens place of the top number. And at the end, don't forget to add the number that you've carried on top of the tens place to your answer.